Welcome back to Three for the Money. If you have not yet opted in for our code, I'm, tell I'm here to tell you you still can using the code MONEY3. That's M-O-N-E-Y 3. When you use the code MONEY3 on the Action 24-7 Sportsbook, you will receive a $250 risk-free bet on your first bet. New customers only. Terms and conditions apply. Let's get to it. Okay, we're here. We're back. It's three for the money. New episodes every Thursday. Playoffs are in full swing. Draft day is tomorrow, or probably, you know, today uh, when you're listening to this. Um, and I feel like we actually have a lot to talk about. I feel like a lot has happened since last week. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, but before we get into that, how are we doing since last time we spoke? You just had to ask. Well. Incredibly... <laughs> Uh, below average. <laughs> feel hey, like hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Feel as, like a, as a man, there's nothing there wrong. There is with nothing that. wrong with that. I feel, <laughs> <laughs> feel like every night I'm going like three and four or like four and five or You're, something. You like are that. who you are. You know, okay, there's nothing easy. wrong. With that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't change yourself. Okay. <laughs> Last night I had a plus eight hundred parlay. Fall, I had uh, Rockies, Cubs, and Pirates money lines. Rockies and Cubs won pretty easily. Pirates gave up three runs in the eighth to lose by uh, one or two runs. So that was that was fun. <laughs> I was following it. And it was like Pirates were up by like five at one point, and they gave up like six runs in the seventh and eighth combined. I was like, "Well, okay, it's over." <laughs> so like, there goes the parlay. Are the Pirates good? They're good right now. We'll see. Okay, because they're leading the their division. Correct. Yeah, I mean that's not gonna last. The Brewers will eventually take that over, and okay. the Cardinals will get hot eventually. Okay. Pirates are much better than people thought I, they would be, and their best player is hurt. Oh well. So. I was looking at like the the ranking or like the you know rankings for MLB, mm -hmm. and I saw the Pirates and first in their division. I was like, mm -hmm. hold on. It won't last long, but they'll they're they'll be. I don't know. They'll be they're better than what people thought they'd be, which I mean people thought they'd be terrible. So <laughs> I guess but they are I mean they're they are very they're very fun to watch. I hate as a Reds fan I hate to admit it, but they are very fun. Well Sean, have you been betting on any baseball? Because I haven't. Um I am responsibly retired for the moment. Oh. <laughs> for the moment. Um I think the last time we spoke on the pod. I was on an 11 day cold streak that turned into a fortnight cold streak, which means two weeks. Okay. Oh, okay. For, <laughs> for all, all you non educated people. Well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm responsibly retired. I kind of just don't feel like recharging the book at the moment. Yeah. I just need to, I need to clear my head. I need to just relax. Um, Maybe take some ayahuasca. Maybe. Go on another darkness retreat. Maybe. Maybe. It couldn't hurt. Well, Maybe. I think, I I think the know. I think the darkness retreat was what started the cold streak. Hmm. Well, then do because another you, one to end it. Yeah. No. Maybe a second darkness retreat, retreat will reduce the effects. Or, <laughs> or you do a brightness retreat, which well, is the opposite know. of darkness. Or I just stare into the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you'll see the board more clearly. Maybe. Um, but, yeah, I'm responsibly retired for the moment. Um, I like I like betting on the NHL a lot more when it's in the regular season. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, the playoffs are great. The playoffs have been awesome so far. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed the games I've been able to watch. But um, the, it's just like the same – matchups every night and it's like not much has changed mm -hmm. like between like you know like it's much harder to gauge also because playoff hockey is different it's I mean, yeah they they skate faster they play harder they do everything that they can to win the game and in the regular season it's like you're not fighting for your lives 
every night. Mm-hmm. You know, like sometimes teams just go out and you're just like, let's just, just go. We're in Buffalo. Like, let's <laughs> just go home. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, but for, yeah, for right now, I am responsibly retired. Okay. Well, but I do still have that uh, couple of futures that are hanging on. Mm-hmm. So, what what fe- which futures? Uh, I've got the Celtics to win the NBA title and the Oilers to win the Stanley Cup. So, Celtics. We can talk about the NBA here in a little bit. But <laughs> I mean, drop two in a row to the Hawks. Yeah, but it's <laughs> <laughs> whatever. I don't really. It's, well, it's fine. The only future I <laughs> I have. Is in the NHL and stars minus one and a half in the series against the Wild. That was a big win. So yeah, it's huge. Need them again tomorrow night. Yeah. I'm probably going to watch that. Honestly, I think they play Friday. What's today? Wednesday. Okay. Mm-hmm. Really? Did they, they play yesterday? Tomorrow. Yeah. I thought they played two. Yeah, no, we're you're starting right, to yeah. get into like the days the where they yeah, they you're right. take okay. like a couple days. Whenever they play, I, I will be. I will probably be watching. Yeah, they they play Friday. I might. And the time is to be determined, which is. I thought odd. I saw it was like at seven thirty or something. Mm. <clears throat> Whatever, it will yeah. probably. But I'm I'm probably gonna watch. But yeah, right on. Um, I should probably responsibly retire. Um, I mean, I've, have you had to re- recharge the book? Have you had to? No. Okay. Oh, then well, you're fine. Then you're fine. Like, uh, it's already like it's already out of your bank account. Like, what yeah, are you gonna yeah. do with it? Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm just doing. Absolutely terrible. Um, I think the last time I tweeted out picks was Friday, and I went four and one, which was great. There you go. But the next day after that, lost all my bets. Day after that, I think I won one bet, and then Monday didn't do great. Yesterday, I saw a monster stat about Artemi Panarin. Every time this beat writer calls him out, the next game he goes off. Rangers scored one goal. <laughs> and Aaron wasn't even on the ice. Let's go Devils. Rangers, um, I don't know about the Rangers. The Rangers fans deserve this. Yeah. Uh, I hope they lose. I hope they lose this series. I hope they don't win another game. Uh, they deserve this. Yeah. When will New York fans learn? Like, when you're the, like, I mean, the Rangers were the dog in the series. You won a couple games, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because they did this last <laughs> year, or fuck, two or three years ago. In the NBA playoffs, when the Knicks finally met it in, and they won one game, like, oh, Knicks are back. Like, hang the banners today. And I think they won one more game than the rest. And Trey Young just murdered them. So, I mean, yeah. New York sports fans in the playoffs, I guess, other than the Yankees, even though they always play. <laughs> Did you see that? No World Sorry. Series. What? Sorry, we're watching the, um, the Boston Florida uh, matchup, and they just showed Robert Kraft in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> he must have just got back from the massage parlor, but um, <laughs> looking relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Had a couple buttons popped. <laughs> Which guy didn't see, but <laughs> um, but yeah, like I mean, me and Sean kind of were ahead of this curve. Like we didn't outright say it, but we essentially said Rangers are frauds. Yeah, we were. They're they're like a good team. That also has just good players. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like, when when we said that last week, and then, like, the Rangers, at I think, at that point, were only up 1-0. One, one 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 zero, one yeah. And then yeah. they, they went up 2-0. They kind of beat the hell out of them. They, the they beat, whomped them yeah, first they, like, two games. One or and it was like just that. like, ooh. <laughs> and that, was, that was kind of a bad take. But, like, stealing two games at home for both teams. Mm-hmm. I just like I think that just cements like this game, this series could go either way. Yeah. Like I don't I think if the Rangers get past this series, they're not making it. They're getting bounced next round. Yeah. For sure. I don't I don't even think they'll make <clears throat> it out of this one, honestly. <laughs> Who are they play? Um I think they play the winner of Islanders Carolina. I think. Mm, no. No? Hmm. Wait. I, th- I, <clears throat> I think it depends who wins the series. Mm, okay. Because I know that if the Leafs win, 
they'll end up playing the Bruins, who are going to beat the Panthers. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, I mean, yeah, what is home ice advantage? like? Especially in that series when, I mean, they're within, like, pissing distance of each other. Yeah. Granted, the Rangers that fan base the is much, much larger than the Devils, mm -hmm. but still. Mm -hmm. It is, like... Do you think it's like the only like New Jersey? Is it the new only New Jersey sports team? I mean, the Devils, the Jets, uh, and Giants technically they play play in New Jersey. Yeah, but like they, they don't claim New, new Jersey. York. Yeah, yeah. Ever since the Nets moved, yeah, yeah. The Devils and like Rutgers, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yes, well, only professional. Uh, Princeton, uh, St. Peter's. Um, Excuse me. Okay. Only professional team. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, hockey playoffs right now has been, like, incredibly entertaining, honestly. Um, that's the only saving grace to me losing my bets. Obviously, I'm sad about that, but these games are just incredibly entertaining. Like, mm -hmm. if you're not taking the over in every single Oilers game, what are you doing? Or like, Leafs. Lightning. Yeah. Leafs, Lightning. God. It's, I think – it was like 4-4 four, four at some point in like three out of like the five games that they played or something. I hate the Lightning. You hate the Lightning? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. You're just getting mollywhomped by this like fraudulent team. Fraudulent franchise. Come that's, on. That's a better way to put it. Fraudulent franchise. franchise. Team is, is very is good. Better, fraudulent franchise. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. Like, you're, you're up 4-1 to one in the third period. Yeah, yeah, that was, that they was dropped rough. that one. That, I mean, that's nail in the coffin. At home. Series is over. At home. If, right, let me rephrase this. If they're playing anyone but the Leafs, I would say series is over. But it's the Leafs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just yeah. Not over. They can still fuck they this up. They haven't won a playoff series in 19 years. so <laughs> They can still definitely fuck this up. Um, but I think they're going to lose. But the Lightning. Yeah. I, I had a future on. That's I why, think the, that's why. I <laughs> yeah, I did too. Um, I think the curse will be broken this year. If not, then oh man, uh, <laughs> if they lose this one. I don't know. It would be really funny because I saw a stat that when Wes McCauley is the ref mm -hmm. for the Leafs, mm -hmm. any Leafs, any Leafs playoff game, they are zero and eight. Yikes! And he hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't uh, repped one. He hasn't game repped two, has he? game two, and that's the one they dropped at home. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm back. <laughs> and if the Lightning can like go up, if they can get a win back in Toronto, mm -hmm. make the series three two, and then somehow make it back home three three, and go back to Toronto, I think I think the NHL calls in. <laughs> I think they. <laughs> Well, that West would be the most, like, high-profile series at mm -hmm. that point. Yeah. Most likely. So, and calling the, mo the most high-profile ref. He is. Let's go. He is, like, the best, like, yeah. known around the league as, like, calling it as it is. Oh, um, yeah. but, like, Dude's the GOAT. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. actually the GOAT. Like, yeah. Um, you don't hear that a lot from any ref. Like, whenever okay. you see a ref, you're like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, I remember – um. I think it was the opening week or first week of the NFL. Titans were playing Giants. We got Jerome. Ugh. Well, Jerome. I know. I know. But, like, when I was at the game and then I heard the announcement of, like, who was refing, mm -hmm. and I was just like, oh, <laughs> Jerome. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's, <laughs> Jerome. It's just, like. Any sports has like an infamous mm -hmm. ref, yeah. He, he, but he retired. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. which is hallelujah. Th thank you. Yeah. Like, I, I wonder who it's going to be now because before him it was Jeff Triplett in the NFL. Jeff Triplett. Yeah, Trips was. I hated that. I didn't talk about just like a bozo, bozo overall. Just a like, buzz yeah, kill. It's like yeah, like, he couldn't <laughs> call a play either, but he'd go up there to like actually call the penalty, and be like holding seventy two. Defense, uh, yeah. off defense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guy, was, I mean, he was like, I Ooh. think he was like Ooh. sixty something. He looked like he was ninety five up there. Yeah, and oh, Florida score. Yeah, yeah. All right, but yeah, Trips was. I hated that man. Yeah, um, 
Um, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's just not, let's, let's not get into the refs we hate because we could be here for a while. We can do that in the – We could do that. just for baseball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's wait till the playoffs are over and then we can get into that. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, I – I do have one more thing to say about refs. Um, this these this NHL playoffs, like a lot of typically in the NHL playoffs, it's the refs kind of put away the whistles. Mm-hmm. Uh, this has been the complete opposite. Yeah, there's been they, like three suspensions. I think. Yes, and they are calling really like a lot, and half of the time it's like nothing. It's like nothing plays. I was watching like a Dallas Minnesota game, and someone just nudged someone, and they called it like interference. It was just like a small little nudge, and like honestly, this is the NHL playoffs. If let the boys play, come on, ref. Let them, be, let them nudge be, at least. There has to be blood for you to consider calling a penalty. Yeah, like I no, or just like a blatant trip. Like, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna call something, call a trip. Like that's the easiest thing you, to call. Like, that's the only thing that the crowd is like, "Hey," you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Especially in the like, well, I don't know about the NBA, but has the NBA playoffs been bad officiating wise, Chris? Do you know? I mean, I wouldn't say bad. The only like, that was like a nice call. The only like really blatant was when Harden got ejected for just like just for being, nothing. Being he was just trying to like like he was had the ball, he was gonna drive to the basket. There's a guy in front of him. His hand might have hit whoever the hell was guarding him in the nuts. Uh he surely sold it like Yo, that. Can we talk about that for a second? Well I, we'll get there. Yeah we'll get <laughs> there. Let, him, let him finish and then call. he got ejected. I think it was Definitely a makeup call for when Joel Embiid should have been ejected for kicking someone in the nuts. Scrub squad. Oh, I mean, it's yeah. just been every it's been scrub game. squad. <laughs> it's been four nut shots. And it's the first round. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know, bro. NBA's going to have to wear in cups. Yeah. Like, this is like. Do they not? No. No. I don't, I don't think so. They're not like a cup. Maybe some sort of. Athletes, maybe not a cup because you don't want to like be running in gym shorts with a cup, but they might have some sort of I guess. protective. I doubt like it, a, honestly. Like a semi-jock? Maybe, if that. I don't know. It's, just, it's hard for me to believe that they go out there and just, like, their briefs. It's basketball. I mean, they're not wearing, like, tidy whities They're wearing, like. I didn't say okay. tidy whities I said briefs. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't think they're wearing, like, off-the-rack underwear. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they're, the, they're in the NBA. They're wearing yeah. expensive underwear. Exactly. For sure, yeah. but, like. I don't know. It's like they might have some sort of like protection, but it's not like it, it's not going to like. Is the NBA the only like professional sport that they don't wear a cup in? I would assume. It's not like. Is this really like a, a revolution? contact sport? Yeah, it's not a contact sport. Well, if people are getting hit in the nuts every night. Okay, this is like, like a this <laughs> is insane because these are blatant. Yeah. This is, this is other than silly. Harden, <laughs> these are all blatant nut shots. Yeah. <laughs> Just this is crazy. I love it. It's so funny. It's it's hilarious. <laughs> but it's just so crazy. You know? So <clears throat> NBA playoffs have been wild though. Jimmy Jimmy Buckets just this is play, this is bubble Jimmy coming back. Yeah. He just like I mean that last game he just any shot he put up is like, all right, that's going in. Let's just go back, play defense. What do you score? Like fifty fifty six. Fifty six? Yeah. I think the best shot that I've seen in the NBA playoffs so far is uh, the best nut shot? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Trey Young last night. Mm-mm. Yeah. Like almost half court. Oh, like just, all, just oh. almost. He was just like, all right. When he's it's like, has a, his a second and a half left yeah. in the game. And I was just like, oh my God. When he has his three point shot like on, he's arguably the best scorer in the NBA. But it's seldom that it is on, especially yeah. in the playoffs. But. Yeah. I th- I mean, he's like the one guy. Is like no matter what, he like he will take. He can take over a game. He he can. He's like he can go out and get you twenty five any given night, and then he could also go get you sixty, like if he needed to. Mm-hmm. He's insane. Uh, I hope, I hope they win that series. They won't. They're probably gonna lose game six. 
but I want them to win that series so bad. Just as a fan of chaos, because then the Heat are probably going to beat the Bucks. So if we can get Hawks and Heat advancing, oh, two play-in teams advancing, yeah. <laughs> that'd be awesome. <laughs> that'd be uh, that'd be pretty wild. Um, yeah, seeing the Heat beat the Bucks, like, I mean, they haven't like beaten them, beaten them yet. Um, oh yeah, they haven't. They played a night, yeah. about an hour and a half, or about an hour. Um, it's just crazy, you know. Giannis is he hurt? He came back for the last game. He had triple double. Hmm. Still wasn't enough. Well. Are, are the Bucks hurt at all? Uh, I don't think so. Other than, I mean, they're just not playing very well. Like mm-hmm. the Heat have always, I mean, go back to the bubble, mm-hmm. where I mean, they, I mean, the Heat always play them extremely well in the playoffs. Well, granted, that's the, really the only two instances, but it's just crazy. And I mean, Jimmy Butler when he gets in that mode, he's unstoppable. Yeah. Um, I I really did want. Sacramento to take one of those in in Golden State. Series ain't over yet. Yeah, I know it's not over, but it's. I I heard that like uh, Fox was questionable yeah, yeah, with yeah. a finger, it's like a broken something with his like broken in his finger. Yeah, and that's, he's gonna play the next game, which is tomorrow. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, he's gonna play the next game. He said. He said he would have played. He wanted to play the game before, but they said no. Um, but I just – I know the Warriors are going to win this series, and I hate it. Yeah. I don't know. I think it could go to seven. It could go to seven, but it's like you really think the Warriors just aren't going to win a road game. Like, like yeah, it's like they sucked on the road in the regular season, but, like, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. – it's, I know, but – I know, but. <laughs> <laughs> how, how far is San Francisco from – it's, it's not, not very that far. far. I mean, it's Bay to like Northern California, slightly northern. I don't know where. So I know it's somewhat northern. Sacramento is okay. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I hope the Kings win, but I don't think they will. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it's it'd be it'd be wild. You know, obviously, I think most people want to see the Warriors lose, just because. I mean, we know that Steph Curry's great. Mm-hmm. And probably one of the best basketball players ever, or best shooter ever. Yeah. Oh no, the Warriors Kings play tonight. Oh, they do at nine. Nine. Okay. Okay. Also, the the Grizzlies are winning by nine. Yeah, I saw that. The half. And oh, the man. Knicks are winning how many, by eight. How, how many points does uh, Dylan Brooks have? Just curious. Okay, hold on. If let's guess. Okay. Go Four. Ahead. That's at the half. Okay. Is that the half? Yeah. Um. Ten. I'll say seven. Five. <laughs> <laughs> if if the Grizzlies lose a series, it is all his fault. Yeah, uh, it 100%. Is, it is all his fault. 1,000%. <laughs> he's he's trying to play the villain, but the only villain he's playing is it's against his team. So I get playing the villain and all, but you don't call out LeBron after you even up the series one apiece. Yeah. If you went up. 2-0, 3-0, 2-0, like something like yeah. that. Even if you go up 1-0, it's like, okay, like hold it in, but you're still up at least. He was talking shit just by evening up the series. Yeah, winning one game. It that, was like at home too. It was like, okay, dude. Like like I'm all for – I love villains of basketball. Mm-hmm. But like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> like I this, know, do you – Wait. So – the villains of basketball, right? We talked about this last week. I love how the Golden State Warriors are now the bad guys. Is Dylan Brooks a future Golden State Warrior? No, no, <laughs> because I hate him. Yeah, um, I don't think he's good enough. I love villains in basketball. The the Warriors are not villains in my like they are trying to play the villain. Dylan Brooks is a villain. The Grizzlies inherently, I guess, the Grizzlies as a team are a villain, but. I, I love it because there's not enough hatred in basketball anymore, in the NBA at least. So I love it, but maybe wait till you go up in the series at least to t- start talking shit to LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> How many points does LeBron have, though? Because uh, oh, still has not earned point. Dylan Brooks' respect. Interesting point. If we're going by the numbers. Even though he had 20 points and 20 rebounds uh, in the previous game? Doesn't matter. He said, you have to drop 40 on me to get my respect. Okay. He didn't Do you want to guess? Oh, you want to guess yeah, again? I probably has 18. 
At the half? Yeah, probably. He's LeBron. Okay. Will? Eight. Six. Shit. Mm. Was Dylan Brooks right? So um, <laughs> <laughs> That might lose the series, but he could be right. <laughs> so, um, hold on. They score again? No, it was just an oh, intermission. Okay. Um, so, I saw this thing today. I'm not sure if it's true or not. But um, AR-15 invited the... Anthony Richardson? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, not Anthony Richardson. Well, that's his nickname. Hold on. Austin Reeves? Austin Reeves. Is that his nick- Is he going by that? Uh, isn't that what climate? people call him? I think a few people have called him that, but I've never heard him like own it. <laughs> that's oh. a dangerous nickname to own. In this I know. Day yeah, especially yeah. as a white guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so Austin Reeves, <laughs> I saw on Twitter today that he has apparently invited the entire LSU gymnastics team <laughs> to this Grizzlies game. <laughs> I pray to God that's true. This guy's such a dog. <laughs> I love him. And it was just like, man's going to play like prime Kobe tonight. <laughs> like <laughs> That guy. That's a, I hope that's a dude's rock moment. I'm, I'm not sure if it's true. Pro, I, mean, I saw it on Twitter. So, it's. I mean. We're less than two minutes into this third quarter in that game. It's a one-point game. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. So, yeah. Austin Reeves has uh, 10 points, Eight, 10 five points. assists. Eight. Well, um, that's probably all going to be the playoffs talk we're going to talk for for this week because the draft is tomorrow, Thursday which is today. Um, and I I don't know. I'm not sure how I know how to feel. Like I'm terrified. I'm very nervous. I'm yeah, terrified. I'm so nervous. It's like uh, I know we got a new GM, and we don't really know what he's about as of right now. Um and, you know, GMs tend to try and make their mark early. You know, there's lots of rumors around the Titans trading up to take Anthony Richardson um, and or trade back. Or I, what I think is going to happen is all this, all this brain power that everyone's using for the Titans to trade up to try to get a quarterback is going to be all for naught, and we're just going to take a lineman. We're just going to. Pick at 11. Oh, we're going to pick at 11. I hope it's not a lineman, but I think we'll pick at 11. Uh, I mean, nobody knows anything right now. All these people, all these experts and everything. I mean, that's why they do 50,000 mock drafts. They don't know shit. Nobody knows anything. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, people who claim they know something are lying. Unless you were, like, the player himself. Even then, I don't believe you. Mm-hmm. But I don't, I mean, nobody knows anything. So I don't uh, – the rumors about us drafting Levis make me very nervous. Oh, yeah. But they're still rumors, so I'm not like – I don't know. That is doomsday scenario Yeah, is us drafting Will Levis. But other than that, honestly, if, as, as long as we don't do that, I'm like, you know what? It's not as bad as it could have been. <laughs> yeah. Unless we, like, What's trade the- Derrick Henry for, the, like, an A.J. Brown scenario last year. I don't know. I mean, like, if we trade up, what – if we trade up to three, because mm-hmm. we're not trading up to two. Oh, no. Because the Texans aren't going to Unless the Texans are that Texans are not going to give the Tennessee Titans the second overall pick. It's just not going to happen. Probably not. If we trade up to three, what would we have to give up? Because I feel like a it player would... would have to be involved, especially, like, with – a team like the Cardinals in a ver- in like a kind of wide open division. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, 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 well, With wide open GM. is. I mean, it is relative, relatively. Relatively, like I know that I know that. An San Francisco division. is. I mean, they're top dog until so, but like yeah, they, but who's going to be their quarterback? So yeah. like nobody really knows. But so, in a wide open division, we trade up to three. Could you see Derrick Henry going in that trade? I don't see Rand doing that as his first, like, big move. Yeah. Trading. The franchise player. Yeah. 
that's like something where you're like you do that and it doesn't work. You're not gonna, you're not a GM ever again. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. That's true. I mean, so yeah. I just for that reason alone, I don't. And also, like I just I think Ran is going to be cautious about trading players, especially big players. Like, like I I could like there's been a lot of talks of trading Tannehill. Don't think it's going to happen at all. But it, I don't. Think but it if it were to happen. That would probably be the only player that I could see being like big name at well, least. Now yeah, that big G- name. Now that Simmons is locked up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It'd be like, well, all right. Like, that's okay. If we like, trade him and get like a it. quarterback like and draft a quarterback, I'll be very happy. If we trade him and then end up getting Trey Lance, I'll be furious. Yeah. But um I also like I know if we do trade Henry to the Cardinals for the third pick, we would have to include something else. Henry is a thirty-year-old Derrick Henry worth the third overall pick. Well, that alone, that, I no. mean, no, no, but like no, no, no. him and like a couple other picks, is that still worth another? Our first round now and our first round next year in Derrick Henry. I don't. Th- that's way too much yeah, for like, CJ Stroud, or I assume it would be. That's the only scenario I see us trading up to three. Is if yeah, Bryce or CJ want, which Bryce is gonna go number one. Yeah, most likely. If one of them doesn't go one and two, I don't think I don't think the Texans are going to take a. Huge I don't either. either. But like, why the hell wouldn't we? Yeah, I don't know. Like that doesn't make any sense. They're they're stupid. They are stupid, but like God, they're, like, it's, the, it's the same question as like, why would we take a QB? Like we don't really because like. Tandil's not very good. I, well, like, <laughs> yeah, but he's like. He's serviceable. He's, ser- he's fine. Yeah. He's, he's fine. won two division titles. Like, yeah. He's fine. Like, he could definitely compete in the AFC South. Like, he's also, yeah, I'm, but, yeah. But, like, you're not, you don't want a quarterback I don't, I don't, who's going to be fine. I know, but I don't think quarterback is our, like, number one priority. I don't, I don't think so either. But uh, like, that's why I say the only time, the only, which is, what the number one like which is what your first round draft pick should be mm-hmm. is your number one priority which is why if we if let's go Cubs just went ahead um <laughs> if well, let me get it back on track <laughs> the only scenario I see is drafting a quarterback at least unless Richardson falls the only uh, trading up would be to get CJ Stroud if he doesn't go number two yeah because if yeah. we trade up to get richardson i'll be kind of i mean oh i'll be irate i don't actually. even know if i'll be that pissed because just because i've kind of like i'm like almost ex, i almost expecting it but there's been so many rumors about it happening i'm like okay well they said it was gonna happen i mean i think richardson will be there at 11 like he could be see that's the like, thing it's, it's like, like he could, could. if, if yeah. we trade yeah. up to like six though to get him or oh, i don't know the order off the top of my head but i've seen some people say say trade up to six to get him I'm like okay that's somewhat better like if we if we swap i also i just we don't swap, think it's gonna be very good if we swap either. first round picks with the sixth overall and r11 and we give up a fifth i'm like whatever yeah you know for a freak but, athlete for a freak at like it's like okay like i guess whatever but like if we trade up to three and like give up a first round our first round pick this year and then our first round pick next year and then like so, I mean, like, the third overall pick is kind of a big deal. Like, oh, you saw yeah. how much, like, yeah. the Dolphins got for their third overall pick from mm-hmm. the 49ers to draft Trey Lance. He might not even be the starter next year. And it's like – I don't think he should be. <laughs> I think I think the third overall pick holds – like, the top three hold oh, just yeah. as I'd much say, merit yeah, as – top five, honestly, yeah, like, depending on who's in the draft. Yeah, but yeah. So This I mean, year, top – but no, like um, I mean, I feel like if you trade up to the top three or five, a player will have to be involved, probably in some shape or form. Probably would Bayard be worth trading up to three to get hypothetically trade up to three to get CJ Stroud? Would Kevin Bayard be worth that? I don't think so. I don't either. He's, he brings like a lot of intangibles mm-hmm. to to the locker room. Like, just being here for so long. He's now our longest tenured Titan. 
Yeah. And Jesus. <laughs> he's I been mean, here for like six years. And he's still <laughs> awesome. Six or seven years? Six, I think, yeah. He's still oh, he's, a yeah, great he's still player. I, I just think I that's like, why it's like it's going to have to be an upper echelon player like that. Yeah. yeah. We're not trading fucking like NWI. No. <laughs> I mean, uh, we, we still need all the receivers we can get. Which is why I hope we stay at 12 and get Smith and Jigba. 11. Or 11, excuse me. And get Smith and Jigba. NSJ. JSN. That's what? JSN. Jackson. said NSJ. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want him, and I want him bad. Yeah. I, he is that's, He is also my pick for 11. That's dream scenario. Yeah. Like, for if, me. Because if, if, like, which he will be, Tannehill is the starter. More than likely. More than likely. Barring, yeah. Having... JSN and Traylon Burks on both sides, both young guys. They can, they can play ball. They can do. Oh yeah, like they can, they can run their routes. I mean, Trey kind of didn't look that bad. He had a like, few games he where he was like, okay, where it was yeah. just like, okay, okay yeah. If yeah, he can yeah. stay healthy, he can. Yeah, he was solid. Yeah, and but. He needs he, – he does need another receiver on the other side where – That's not – And that is that – Robert is, Woods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is his weakness, and he did come into our team with that weakness. It's not where his he fault. Did, yeah, it's, it's not his, not his fault. fault. So, but – He's the only receiver. I would, love, I would love our first-round <laughs> pick to be a wide receiver. I would, too. Honestly. And if I know we're, we're weak – in the offensive line, we could use a tackle. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. But if like, Jason's not there, when at eleven or twelve, whatever, I forget it mixed up. <laughs> then I we should get a tackle. Yeah, yeah. Let's not try to get cute. Yeah, let's just. It's just, just going to make me the, mad. Let's just take the best <laughs> tackle available. Just take a tackle. Let me go to bed. <laughs> go on. Yeah. Let me finish my beer and then I'll. Yeah, because it's gonna make me. If we <laughs> if we do something weird, I'm just gonna be nervous or mad. I'm not gonna be happy unless yeah. it's like trading against CJ. Even then, I'll be like, okay, we probably gave up something very valuable. I I think one of my worst memories was last, last year. Year's oh, it was the worst. Like when the Eagles were on the clock, and then it was just like, oh wait, no, the Titans are on the clock, and I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are the Titans now on the clock? That was the worst, man. It was just out of nowhere. It was, was just, so out of nowhere. Like, oh, our best receiver is just gone. Cool. And yeah. you brought that up um, the day after the draft at work mm-hmm. when you you made the point. It was like, you know, you go to the draft to get better. Mm-hmm. But we left the draft – so much worse. It's not we even like, we left <laughs> yeah. worse. We made an effort. We made to an effort. Be yeah. Worse. yeah, that's what you said. That's what you said. <laughs> it's like, yeah, if you dra- if you just have a few shit picks, well, yeah. yeah, that's bad. But like, whatever. It's like, no, we had good, and we got rid of it for trail. And I love Traylon Burke. I think he'll be a good receiver in this league. But I, uh, AJ Brown was already a great receiver. Yeah, and he almost won a freaking Super Bowl. Hundred million dollar receiver. I get not wanting records. I get not wanting to pay him that much money because that is a lot of money. But that's the oh, I don't want to. We that, don't have to go back. Them's into the that. breaks, though. Yeah, that's the last thing I'll we say about it. Them's the breaks. We don't have to go back in. But um, I think we're gonna backtrack a little bit. We're gonna get off the topic. Um, I do think Ran has a lot of pressure on him at this moment. Yeah, for sure. These last. Three draft picks have been. Three first round picks. Three first round picks have been, eh, if not terrible. Traylon was good, but the way we got him was terrible. Yes, and it, the it, other two before him were terrible. See, like, <laughs> so I want I want to believe that Trey is going to work out, but mm-hmm. like deep inside, I hate him. I <laughs> yeah. I, I hate. Well, like I you're not. You're just like, reminded of what was. I go. I yeah. when I went into the drafts last year, I was like, you know, Traylon Burks out of Arkansas, man. Like he, 
that'd be really good to have. Oh, I said like it I was, was like, just like I want. I kind of like that'd be that'd be really good with AJ on the other side of the field. <laughs> and then, I, like, yeah. the way we got him was just like, oh, no. Oh. I said that, like, oh, no. It was like, I, Traylon is, like, my number. Like, I want him. Yeah. And then it happened, and I think I, like, texted our group chat. I was like, not this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I wanted him, but not like this. Like, yeah, yeah. That was the worst. Yeah. And so he leaves a sour taste in my mouth a little bit. But like, I still think you, – I'm you, still you, holding you on to AJ. faith <laughs> that he's going to be good. But – I mean, said this at work yesterday. We got <laughs> last three draft picks. Panda, paraplegic, and pretty eyes. PPP. And one is a rapper now. Quote, unquote. Quote, unquote, rapper. He might be homeless. I he don't might, know. Well, I no, we even, gave him a shit ton of money, so he's not homeless. But <laughs> he could have blown through it. Yeah. yeah. No offense um, to him, but whatever. Yeah, I, don't, me. I hope he's kicking rocks down by the rail yard, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Um. Well, that dude Isaiah Wilson just did not no, care no, yeah. about football. No, he didn't. Yeah. He, he got, just he wanted, got his he check. Wanted, yeah, he he wanted to be a first round pick, and then he got his check, and then he was just like, "I'm out." And it was just like, he might have been the worst football player I've ever seen. He took like three. Snaps. He's like, I don't even know if he was because he played three snaps. <laughs> he took like <laughs> on special teams too, and then he got bounced like twice. Yeah, then he went to what the Dolphins, and then he showed he up. Like, didn't pass his physical. He showed up three hours late to his physical. Didn't, and pass, didn't it. pass it, and, and then, then it was just like the Dolphins were like, "What do we do?" <laughs> we were like, "Well, yeah, it's just your problem." I don't know. Like, How could we have foreseen this? <laughs> <laughs> he was so good with the Titans. <laughs> Jesus, but um, yeah, Isaiah Wilson, Caleb Farley, and Traylon Burks. I'm gonna leave Trey out of this scenario, but drafting to be determined. Drafting, yeah, TBD. Um, drafting a guy who only played two years in college with two different back surgeries always was just like, "What are we doing? What was that? Yeah. Why did you do that?" that and was, I know that, that was I know that at the time, Jr. liked to draft these. Injured players. He it worked out with Simmons. That was the only one. That was the only one that worked out, out. Off the top of my head. But like, you could say it worked out with Corey Davis. Yeah, he didn't sign a second contract. So. But like, yeah, but he played <laughs> five years. Yeah, but he <laughs> played. Are you well. drafting a guy for five years, or are you gonna draft him for a career? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I, if you don't sign a second contract, that's not working out. In my I guess so. opinion, you're right. <laughs> Like, yeah, he fair. wasn't a bust. Well, from where I guess you could argue where he was taken, he was a bust. But he wasn't awful. Was he 24? Did he we was get a Dory five. first? He was five. He was five, yeah. and then we got a Dory. Then we got a Dory. At 20 something. At something, yeah. Okay. God. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> no wonder he got fired. Yeah. <sighs> so, okay. So. Going back after that <laughs> resume of what we just went through, I think Rand has a lot of pressure on his head to draft a really good first round pick. And I'm really not sure if a quarterback is the right move for his first move. But at the same time, you can make the argument where, hey, both of these quarterbacks that we have, Hannah Hill and Willis, are really not working out. Yeah. We may need to switch things up. Mm -hmm. So, I could very well see us taking a quarterback in the first round. See, Will we trade up? Bruins score. Let's go. Will we trade up to do it? I don't think so. I really don't think so. The thing that makes me hesitant about Anthony Richardson, especially trading up to get him, he's a project. He's yeah. a freak athlete. He will not start no. the first season no, unless no. Tannehill gets hurt, God forbid. No. But, like, yeah. Like, he has all these, like – insane, like, non-QB. Like, yeah, his arm strength's incredible. He can run really fast. Yeah, I watched him play quarterback at Florida. He's not that good. He's not. <laughs> he played, like, he had a great game against Utah. He had a great game against Tennessee. Tennessee's defense is ass. I can't speak to Utah's. I didn't watch him that much. Other than that, like, eh. <laughs> 
the they, Utah game was like the first, their first game. It was their first game, and everyone's like, hey. Don't bring that game up. This I guy's just, incredible. That game, that game sucked. What'd you have? I had Florida. Oh, okay. I think I also had Florida. No, wait. They no, win? I had Utah. Didn't no. Florida win? No. Florida won. Richardson. Florida won. I'm pretty Didn't sure they? Anthony Richardson threw a pick in the end I think that was to in the game. Oh. I don't remember. If I'm Against being... Utah? I'm fair. I'm fairly certain. Because I remember just like slumping out of my chair onto the floor and just being like, oh, are you serious? I I think I had Utah. Florida won by three. I think you're thinking of Kentucky. Because you play like bring shit up, in that bring game. Bring up their schedule again. Because they won 29-26 in that game. Utah, um, they were taking it down to, I think they were going to score with very little time left, and the guy fumbled it in the end. The Cam Rising fumbled it in the end zone. Um, but yeah, we, it, he just hasn't played a lot of ball, and it's tough to read a player off, you know, one season, and especially one, you know, that's so important. Uh, what What would you do if we drafted Richardson at eleven? That'd be fine. Whatever. Yeah, it'd it'd just be be like, he's still a project. It'd be so like it's okay, like, like as long as we don't have to trade up to get him, if, as long as we don't there. have to trade, I'm okay. Yeah, it's like he's still a project, so it's gonna be a couple years. But I'm like, whatever. Like he's like I say, he's a freak athlete. Let's go Score again. Let's go. Florida scored. Let's go. Um, he's a freak athlete, but I just don't see it. But again, I've said as long as we don't get Levis, I'm like, you know what? Not the worst. <laughs> Honestly, if the Colts take Levis, I, I don't see how our draft could. Oh, I make consider that. I consider that a win. Yeah. Us not having Levis and the Colts having Levis, win. Yeah. <laughs> or the Texans, win. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, – They won't do that, but it could – Well, they could with 12 maybe. But. Yeah, towards the end of Thursday, I'll I'll be happy no matter what uh, if they just take Levis. Yeah. <laughs> that would – man, that would like set their franchise back like 10 years. Oh, he – that – drafting that man is getting – is going to get people fired. Let's go. It's going to – like he's not good. Let's go. He's just bad. All right, to backtrack. I don't know what game I was thinking <laughs> of. <so. laughs> He probably got shooting against Kentucky. That's like the only one I can I don't think know. of. Just, they lost by 10 on. in that one. Just but. move on. But, um, God, I whoever gets Will Levis, I pray. I pray for their families. I pray that your team gets sold <laughs> and move to, oh, I like mean, he, Canada. GM is I, – I, I, I say all this, he'll probably be a Hall of Famer. Uh, but um, he won't be. But – <laughs> Don't worry, you won't be. Um, <laughs> he is, though. He's just well, like, then, well, well, we just got to find out. It, whoever drafts him, I say it's like, as soon as he, that pick is made, that GM is on the clock. I'll give him four years until he's fired. Hmm. Unless he's like some guy who's been with the team for like 20 years, which I don't know if there's any of that are like that. But I just don't. <laughs> he's so bad. <laughs> I don't – so, like, I'm still, like, having trouble. Like, I read all these mock drafts. I watch ESPN. And I'm, I'm, I'm still just having trouble wrapping my head around it. It's because he's – It's bit- like, yeah, he can throw 70 yards from his knees. But, like, when the fuck are you going to need to do that from the – in the That's NFL? That's what I'm saying. It's like he's a really good quarterback. Until you have to play quarterback, he's not good. Yeah, I watched like, this man like he like he made a historically bad Tennessee defense last year. It looked like the two thousand Ravens. <laughs> Jesus, three picks, no touchdowns, less than hundred yards. We mollywopped him. Like Anthony Richardson, at least lit us up for like three thirty. Yeah, mm-hmm. like <laughs> it's like I just I still don't hold any value to that because I could probably throw for a belt. Up 50 against that secondary, but still. I just like I don't I, I wish like no I touchdowns had, against Vandy. I wish I wish Mel Kuyper was sitting right here. I wish he was sitting right here at the end of this table and he could just explain to me why. 
Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why is Will Levitt's going to be a top five draft pick? I really just want to like look, yeah, just like show him all of his stats and be like, he's bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like you say, oh, the Kent- like that's like what I've heard Kentucky also, fans say, like, oh, the offense wasn't built around him. It was the offensive scheme. It's like, okay, if he's like as like God's gift to football, like y'all people claim he is, shouldn't you maybe build your offense around him? Didn't you get <laughs> in like some argument with some guy at that? Um, it wasn't really an argument, that, but that party we went. Yeah, to? we were at a bar. And these Kentucky oh. it was for the Music City Bowl, and these Kentucky fans were next to me, and I don't even remember how this started, but they, for some reason, the like, Orange Bowl was on, right? Yeah, I either interjected myself or I overheard, or like they asked me something about Will Levis. I was like, "Oh, he's terrible." <laughs> they were like, "Oh, you don't like Will Levis?" You're like, "No." I was like, "No, he's he's bad." And they're like, "Why do you say that?" I was like, "Why do you think he's good?" <laughs> I was like, "What about him?" Like, "Yeah, he's big and strong, cool." They were, like, they were like, well, I don't think he's that bad. I was like, that's, uh, yeah, right there. That also, bad. like, I like, know this isn't, like, an athletic thing or, like, anything that would defer him from the draft, but I do not like his, like, what is it, like, his second uh, Corinthians tattoo or whatever. I never. Mean, and I'm just like, why do you, what is that? That looks so bad. Like. I don't even know. From your that. throwing arm? Like. <laughs> I don't know. God's in that arm. Man. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, but no. But you know, that's just like a little picky thing. I'm just like I don't like that at all. But so that's the shitting on Will Levis segment of the show. Oh, we could keep going. Oh, I could too. But <laughs> I, I feel like we've we've done it enough. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna come back next week, and Will Levis is gonna be our quarterback. <laughs> oh, I almost guarantee. It. We're gonna last year. I the entire month leading up to the draft, I was like Malik Willis is the worst quarterback in the draft, and we drafted him. Granted, it was third round, but still. And See, was- like, I really I – st- I'm I'm still, like, on that hill where it's just, like, third round pick. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why not? And yeah. also, it's like, like oh, no, I'm not. I was like, not mad at yeah. the pick, but it was just, like, the entire – I was, like, people were, like, oh, Malik Willis, uh, Liberty, he put up some big numbers. I was like, yeah, against, like, fucking, against, like uh, – AC. Against, yeah, Arkansas <laughs> State yeah. and schools like that. Like, cool. Like, who gives a shit? He played Ole Miss and shat the bed. And, and Ole Miss like, sucked. It's like, <laughs> did you see the way he played against Coastal Carolina? It was like, yeah, against a Sun Belt team. Yeah, it's like, woo. Who? So, <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, we draft in the third round. It's like, well, third round, I don't, it's not worth getting pissed about. And yeah, also, like, jury's out on whose fault it was that he sucked last year. If it was Todd Downing or his fault, which could be his fault i don't know it yeah the either way still out yeah so i still don't think he's very good either way but still um but <sighs> but man just the draft got me so stressed no yeah jsn or bus that's all i 100 <laughs> percent agree either him well, or who do you jsn who or would you like for the tennessee titans to draft 11th overall i just want a boring lineman Honestly, like you just don't want any drama. You just I want to get want out. I would drama. honest. I would get be in. happy with yeah. that. Get in, get out. I'm kind of like, all right. Like I know that like, like a fast food drive through. <laughs> like you're just like get in, get out. I got my McChicken. I'm going home. <laughs> I just it's, I hate that everyone is just spending so much brain power on who's trading up, who's trading down. Well, like, I mean, and this is I, like I, I know this is like the thing that you do. During this is the people's draft. jobs. Like, yeah. this is like this is how Mel Kiper makes a living is by spewing bullshit. Yeah, like <laughs> wasn't he like an accountant or something like before? Like I in have like no the seventies? It wouldn't surprise me. He's got accountant hair, and he was just like, yeah. "Hey, I developed this." He he's the one that's like, "Hey, I developed the system at ranking players." Yeah, and he's usually wrong. Yeah. It's just like, why, why is he NFL on, teams don't use Mel Kuyper's rankings. Why is he on ESPN every day? Because, game? like, he's just, it's him and McShay. They're just the talking, the draft talking heads. Like, that's just what – it's why fucking Joe Lenardi is on with bracketology. You know, like, he's a bum. But That's he, why Matthew Barry is the fantasy pro, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like they get one guy, and it's like, okay, we're going to sign them to a lifetime contract and then just ride them. 
Because nobody knows. It's all this like speculation shit. Yeah, nobody I mean, knows. So nobody, you can't yeah. like. It's like unless Mel Kiper is out here being like, "Well, I think the the Panthers are going to take a fucking like kicker at pick one." Like he's going to have a job. <laughs> I saw a mock draft of us taking a kicker in the fifth round. If we if and I was like, "Hold bro, the phone." We can't do that. If anyone Hold drafts a phone. kicker, you're a, you're a retarded person. <laughs> 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 Sorry. But like, not even I, no, you like your last pick. Unless I, I, Ryan Sup, suck up, I think was the last drafted kicker to work out. Because I think Jankowski. Well, Jankowski. Or one of this, yes, Janikowski. Oh. Excuse me. Let's go. Three, three, three equals three, seven. Three. Let's go. Plus three equals seven. Janikowski rocks, but like, is he worth? He, he was like a. I think he was. When did he get drafted? Who? Sebastian Janikowski. I don't. I'm unfamiliar. Like 2002? No, it was like he got drafted early. Oh, early in the draft. Not even like early for a kicker. Like early. Oh. Hmm. Like Let me second see. or third round? It might have been third round. Oh, God. You know the. Oh, uh, it was worse. I forgot about this. 17th pick overall. <laughs> for a kicker? <laughs> Who drafted him? Al Davis with the Raiders. Uh, Al Davis. <laughs> that's. That's Al, that's Al Davis, baby. What? R.I.P. Jesus. What? Um, Has to be like the only NFL kicker to attempt a 70-yard field goal, I think. Fuck, what was I going to say? Shout out Lane Kiffin. <laughs> oh, I remember what I was going to say. I remember the, the draft after LSU won the title with Joe Burrow. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. That's team, that, that team was so stacked. I remember – all looking on the ESPN app, and in the seventh round, someone drafted their long snapper. Long snapper is different. If you get a good long snapper, you, that guy can play for ten years. I mean, it's yeah, just you pay him nothing. Yeah, and then like you play for ten. Oh, years. I get like I get it. It's still like a what? Like what the fuck? Yeah, but. I yeah. I don't know. It, I would it, say it, was that, just, it just kind of blew my mind. The long snapper. Yeah, I get. I, I get what you're saying. Teams drafted saying. the long snapper. There was um, a draft during COVID where we were watching it, and that punter got drafted to New England, or from Marshall. From Marshall, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. And it was yeah. like in the seventh round, and like we were just like watching his highlights, and we were just like, yes, like <laughs> I think he awesome. got, I think he, like, I don't think he made the team. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> but like when a punter gets drafted. You're kind of like, because they show like their highlights and stuff, and you're just like, oh, yes, because punter highlights are awesome. Oh, they rock. Yeah, <laughs> like nothing. Just gets a it. punt inside the five. Every <laughs> highlight is just like, oh, is you bricked? It does. It's a great sight to see. Well, is that gonna be it? No, no. Oh, you, yeah, you got you got y'all some picks. betting on the draft? No. I'm responsibly retired. Oh, that's true. Hmm. Thought we'd like to have fun on the show. I got well, a few. Chris, if you want to go, I got a few. No one's gonna be upset. I got two reasonable ones and then two long shots. Uh, on the Action Twenty Four Seven Sportsbook, um, Will Levis is currently the favorite to be the second quarterback taken at minus one thirty. This isn't even just my bias. I do think he will slide. I think like maybe out of the, I could see him sliding out of the top ten to fifteen. Uh, C.J. Stroud, second quarterback, taking a plus 160. I think, I mean, he is the arguably the best, definitely one of the two best quarterbacks in the draft. Yeah. So, plus odds, I'll take that. And then Jalen Carter, this is my other reasonable one, Jalen Carter be drafted by the Seahawks, plus 145. I think they're the, unless someone trades up, I think they're the first team that needs, like, desperately needs help on the defensive line. So I'll take that. And the guy's an animal. So I think I love those. Honestly, I'll probably go full uni on those. These little little long shot. I like uh, Christian Gonzalez to go to the Atlanta Falcons with the eighth pick at plus 1,400. Okay. Um, Falcons traded uh, for, oh, what's his name? Um, the Lions corner. I forget his name. Okoda. Yeah, they yeah. traded for him in the offseason. Um, but they 
they did that, and they also released another corner. Pretty much at the same, I forget who they released, but almost at the same time. So that still opens the door. Let's bring in a guy to play with a veteran. Plus 1,400. I like it. Uh, people say they're going <laughs> to, that the Falcons want to take Bijan Robinson. Uh, that would be dumb. <laughs> they just drafted this guy out of oh, some West Coast school, and he was a stud for him when he played. So I don't see why you would. All Jair? Yeah. I yeah. love that guy. Bijan. Oh, he's a he's an animal. He's an animal. Who do you play for? Texas. Yeah, but I just don't like. You already have a good running back, and they have they have so many holes. Like in the entire team, yeah. <laughs> why would you, other than tight end? I guess why would you not like? Why would you take a running back when you already kind of have one? And then let's pull up my phone locked up. Other long shots. Yeah, uh, Jameer Gibbs uh, to the. Los Angeles Chargers plus fifteen hundred. Uh, Chargers need a running back. Eckler's gone. He's gone. He wants. He's trying out. to get traded. He uh, wants out bad. Uh, yeah. Even if, like, he's still not like a in between the tackles running back. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I don't really think Gibbs is either. But I've heard Chargers really like him. So plus fifteen hundred, I'll take that. I'll put half a uni on both of those. And that's it. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. For my draft. For my – I might ha- have some more tomorrow. We'll see. Um, if I were to make a bet, I would bet Anthony Richardson under four and a half. I think that was his line. I think so. I feel like that's – The last time I saw it. I think so. I think that's I think really that cheers. was plus money. Oh, it's – oh, four and a half for Richardson? Oh, it's down seven and a half. Seven and a half? Yeah. I would still probably take Over that. seven and a half minus 141. Mm, it's That's not bad juicy. Still take it. It's juicy, yes, but it's, it's not juicy, bad. It's juicy, but it's not bad. Anything above 150, I'd say it's worth yeah, throwing putting, a little bit. Putting a unit on it. Um, if I were to take one, that that is the one I would take. Anthony Richardson under, or wait. Oh, the draft confuses me. Under seven and a half. Under seven and a half. So he's oh oh no, I read that wrong. Excuse me, I read it's over seven and a half. Under seven and a half is one seventy nine. So minus one seventy five. Seven, yeah, so that's a little juicy. Hmm. Okay, well, a few weeks ago it was four <laughs> and a half. Yeah, I mean that. So that's crazy. That's wild. Uh, let me. F- so that makes me a little bit more nervous now about my team. <sighs> He's plus 175 to go three. Hmm. I don't know. Plus 500 I, to go four. I, th- I don't. I, don't I Basically. Colts. Colts. Oh, uh. Basically, I don't think he's going to be a top ten draft pick. Okay. I'm confused. <laughs> you think he's going to be. See, you that's what I was saying. Out of the top ten. Yes. Okay. So, oh, so you would want over seven and a half at 140. Is yeah. that what – see, that the That's draft what, line confuses me. I would assume so because over 7.5 would be like 8, 9, 10, and so Okay, forth. yes, yes. Yeah. I would take over 7.5. It's not a math podcast. Sorry, well, <laughs> yeah, I mean <laughs> – God, like, it is kind of confusing. It is. No, I get what you're saying. <laughs> so funny. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> dumb. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's. I might have more tomorrow. We'll see. I want to do more research, but right now, I'm definitely taking those four. Okay. okay. Chris, do, uh, do you want to do the XFL gambling corner? Oh, I was hoping you would ask. How How did you do last week? Uh, another one in three. We don't have to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, what better time to start a heater than the playoffs? There's no better time. No better time for anyone. No better time. <laughs> so let's get into it. Renegades <laughs> play the Roughnecks. I thought you were going to say something. Renegades <laughs> play the Roughnecks, and there's only two games, so <laughs> this will be a quick one. Yeah. Renegades play the Roughnecks game one on Saturday. Roughnecks favored by six and a half, over under 41 and a half. Uh, I know they <sighs> literally took this the Renegades against the Roughnecks last week, and they did not do well. I'm going to take them again this week, plus six and a half. 
the Roughnecks offense just isn't great. I don't think they're good enough to win by more than a touchdown in the playoffs. And the Renegades defense is pretty good. So, there we go. And then Sea Dragons defenders. Defenders minus three over under 48 and a half. Give me over 48 and a half. I feel like Sea Dragons offense is really good. Defenders games, I feel like, just always go over. They didn't last week because I used that same strategy. But <laughs> they, I feel like they almost always go over. Let's roll. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. So it's the playoffs. The winner of those two is the, the championship. championship. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's only eight teams, so it's kind of like <laughs> you can't let everyone in. Yeah, so only four. Yeah. Yeah. That, so only that four teams. Get, yeah, top four teams get in. And then we got USFL after this, which I, I might bet. We'll see. I think you got to. I don't want to. <laughs> XFL is at least entertaining. <laughs> USFL, at least last year. I haven't watched it this year. Last year was terrible. You could take a, a week or two to I'll do see. some research. I'll see. Do some yeah. I mean, if there's like a line or something I like, I'm definitely going to take it. Mm-hmm. Well, that's going to be it for the XFL Corner. Uh, thank you so much for listening and watching. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, interact with this video or audio in any way. It really helps us out. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow us on Twitter for picks. Uh, most days. Um, every day for Chris. Um, Maybe me if I get back in the swing of things. Uh, I'm kind of being a coward right now. Uh, Not facing the music, but whatever. Um, Stay tuned for... As you have a bet in this game. Yeah. (laughs) That won. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't give it out, so... (laughs) Then that's what you should... Oh, my God. You should give it out. Shots are 41 to 18. Wow. Jesus. Oh, my God. Walmart, dude. Yeah. Um, Office rocker time. But, yeah, uh, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Um, John, what's what's the promo code? Promo code, as always, is MONEY3, M-O-N-E-Y-3. When you use the code MONEY3 on the Action 24-7 Sportsbook, you will, you, you will receive a $250 risk-free bet on your first bet. New customers only. Terms and conditions apply. There's three of us. Let's make some money? Yep. You got it. <laughs> That's not normally what you say. I know. Okay. Switching it up, dude. Okay. I was trying to throw it to you, but you know, uh, we're working on it. <laughs> do we want to do that again? No. All right. Leave it in. <laughs> All right. We'll leave it in. Um, People have flaws, Will. Let's make some money. All right. <laughs> Woo! 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 There you go.